Hello and welcome to the high voltages. In the last video, I have told you about Arduino and the functions of components on it. In this video, I will be introducing you to the IDE of Arduino. So let's get started. The first thing you have to do is to download the latest version of Arduino IDE and you can download it from the official website of Arduino and the links are given in the description. You can select your operating system from here and you can download it uh, according to your operating system. Now once you have downloaded Arduino, open it. Now let me give you a basic concept about the IDE. IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment. It is a software which runs on your computer and used to write and upload the sketch into the Arduino. Now you can see it is opening. Now once you have opened it, you can see that there is a text editor which is used to write sketches. A message area here which will display you the errors and a toolbar with buttons and these buttons have different functions and there is a series of menus over there. I have been using the term sketch a lot. So what is sketch? Programs written using Arduino software are called sketches. You can edit, replace, copy, paste and find text in the editor. You can, you can see that I can copy this using control C and I can paste it here and I can cut it or I can find the, find any text from here by pressing control F. It will, a window of find will appear and you can find anything and you can replace it with any other text. Okay. And the program you made here has the extension dot I N O. And the bottom right hand corner of the windows display the configured board and the port. You can select the board by going into tools and then going into board and you can see here a lot of Arduino boards. But as we are using Arduino UNO so we will select Arduino UNO from here. Now let us talk about the toolbar options. You can see the toolbar options here and now let us talk about this. Here you can see some buttons. There are some buttons. This is verify, upload, new, open, save and here in the corner serial monitor. So first is verify. What is the function of verify? It checks your code for errors and it compiles it. Then there is a button called upload. What is the function of upload? Upload compiles your code and upload it to the configured board. Then new. New is a button which creates a new sketch. And then open. Here is open button which is used to open any last project. And then save button which is used to save your current sketch. And in the right corner is the serial monitor. Serial monitor, by clicking serial monitor, you can send or receive data serially. Now let, let us go to the menus. First is the file and you must be familiar with all these options. There is examples where you can find some basic digital analog examples and you can try it on your own. And in the edit menus, there are option to edit your sketch. Like you can undo your sketch or copy, paste and many others like find, find next, find previous. In this sketch menu, there are options to compile. I have already told you about compile, upload, upload will uh, write the program on your board and upload using programmer. What is this? This will override the bootloader on your microcontroller and export compiled binary here. 
it will generate dot hex file and why we need it we will discuss about it in the next video we can include libraries from here the libraries are saved in the uh, folder where Arduino is installed and there are other options in the tools there is auto format which will format your code nicely archive sketch it is used to make dot zip file of your sketch and other options are serial monitor burn bootloader or to select board and in the help menu you can access a number of documents and references to get help or if if you are stuck somewhere you can check it out so this is what for this video and in in the next video we will write our first sketch and we'll upload it to our Arduino. Till then, thank you for watching. Subscribe my channel, High Voltages.